So you just hit tier 3 and you're probably wondering what to do now, if there's anything new you need to be worrying about and what should your daily schedule look like. I'll start with the more obvious things like doing all of your main story missions in Punica and doing all of the side missions for the rewards that you want. Remember to do each of the dungeons in Punica on normal and hard difficulty to get way more upgrade materials and to further progress your adventure book. Once your main story quests are done and all of the features of the island are available to you, you should focus on your tripods right away. You may have noticed that when you choose the tripod effect of some skills, you'll see higher levels of those tripod effects listed. Well, now that you're in tier 3, gear will drop that has a random tripod assigned to it. Using that gear while you have that tripod equipped will level up the effects of that tripod. Right away, you should be figuring out what skill build you're going to be using and what the best tripods are for that skill build, and then opening up the settings menu in the skills tab, and then checking off any of the tripods that you want. Now whenever gear drops that has a tripod matching one of the tripod effects that you've checked off, you'll be notified, and the item itself will have a little symbol here in the top right letting you know. This is incredibly useful and something you should be setting up right away. As for your daily schedule, you should of course be doing the normal Chaos Dungeons, Guardian Raids, Una Dailies, and whatever world events you can to get your character up to gear score 1325. All of the honing up to 1325 has a 100% success rate. After that, it drops down to 60%. And don't forget to use the gear transfer function to get a free plus one to all of your items. At 1325, you get access to the second level of Chaos Dungeons and access to the first Tier 3 Abyssal Dungeon, so it's a pretty comfortable place to stay at for a while. One thing I recommend focusing on are the new welcome challenges you'll get at Tier 3. The gear upgrade ones in particular are super easy to do and give you a ton of leap stones and honor shards. Now that you're in Tier 3, gear and honing materials actually start to become worth something, so just blindly dismantling everything that you get probably isn't a great idea. You can make some serious gold off of gear and ability stones that have great engravings on them. Obviously the higher rarity gear and ability stones will be worth more on the market, but say if you've got an ability stone with engravings that you don't really want but you know another class would really love, it's worth seeing how much you could sell it for on the market. It's at this point in tier 3 that you can make a decision to either primarily focus on making a lot of gold or primarily focus on upgrading your character. Since Amazon is for sure going to hold off on any late tier 3 content for a while after the Argos controversy, I'm focusing on making gold and getting all of my alts up to tier 3. If you're focused primarily on getting gold, then you can sell any unbound honing materials to get some pretty nice money. And any extra materials you have that are character bound can be used to fail some more upgrades. One new piece of repeatable content that you should be doing each day is going to Anguished Isle, which is here on the map. If you'd like, you could go ahead and save this location in your Bifrost so you can teleport here easily each day. Here you're going to have a quest that you can do once a day that gives you some island currency and a key. The key lets you go into this dungeon here on the map that gives you even more island currency. The vendor for this island currency is here next to the dungeon and you can get some amazing stuff from here. They sell stuff like leap stones, engraving books, even legendary engraving books, and gems. The legendary Overwhelm Rune is also for sale here. These items aren't roster bound either, so you could totally just buy some legendary engraving books and sell them on the market for some fat cash. If I was a Redditor, I'd put the Stonks meme here and I'd get epic Reddit gold for it. But You're going to need these legendary skill books eventually though, so it's up to you whether or not you want to sell them or see if you've got the willpower to hold on to them for that long. It's possible to do this island quest before you hit tier 3, but most of the good stuff for sale at that vendor has an eye level requirement, so I don't really think it's worth the hassle. The other island worth mentioning is Illusion Bamboo Island, which is here on the map. It'll give you some honing materials for tier 3. Since you're at the end of the game for now, horizontal content is what you should be focusing on. Rapport levels, stronghold and life skill stuff, getting cards and collectibles, and plenty more. Remember to use the codex to find whatever you're looking for. Alt plus D at the same time, and you can find literally anything you're looking for here. Outside of all that, your game plan should be the same as always until we get some new content. Luckily, we only need to wait for it to be translated, so we're not going to wait too long. Also, if a class that you're looking forward to playing has been announced, then it's probably a good idea to go stockpile on Tier 1 and Tier 2 honing materials if you're planning on leveling them up manually. 
That's pretty much everything. Thanks for watching. Join my community Discord if you love Lost Ark or you haven't been hugged in over a year. Love you guys as always, and I will see you in the next one.